But today is about focusing on blessings, not burdens. Uh, bless, uh, the, the verse that we're going to be looking at today is Proverbs uh, 10, verse 6. Blessing crown, blessings crown the head of righteousness. I'm really struggling with this today. Holy moly. Okay. When you are feeling anxious or fearful, it is easy to focus on your problems and not your blessings. But a far better strategy, of course, is to focus on your blessings and not your burdens. If you've tried to count all your blessings, how long would it take? It would take a very, very, very long time. After all, you've been given the priceless gift of life here on earth and the promise of life eternally in heaven. And you've been given so much more. Billy Graham noted, We should all think of the blessings we so easily take for granted, which are life itself, preservation from danger, every bit of health that we enjoy, every hour of liberty, the ability to see, to hear, to speak, to think, and to imagine all this from the hands of God. And that sounds like that's sound advice for believers and followers of the one true God. We have so much to be thankful for. Your blessings, which are gifts from above, are too numerous to count. Even when times are tough, it is always the right time to say thanks to the giver of the gifts um, and then there's a quote in here that's from Hannah Whithall Smith that says, God is the giver and we are the receivers. And his richest gifts are bestowed not upon those who do the greatest things, but upon those who accept his abundance and his grace. Uh, with that being said, we are ready to do the prayer for today. So if everybody could get into their prayer posture, close your eyes, bow your heads, whatever that may look, look like for you. Um, and I'll go ahead and read the prayer for today. Dear Lord, you have given me so much and I will be eternally grateful for your blessings and for your love. Help me to focus, Father, on your blessings and on your Son, Jesus Christ, today and every day. Amen. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. I can say this. Once again, proof's true. Everything that we've been focusing on, because of everything that we've been going through, mm -hmm. the storm that we're in right now, right? Yep. I've been focusing, you know, on these burdens, and I'm like, I just don't know what we're going to do. Yada, 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 right? Yeah. Praying, 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 surrendering, trying to keep my faith, right? And then you throw this at me. <laughs> I'm not throwing anything at you. Why well, now? It's God just, throwing it at you. This is true. You know? Just need, just need to be grateful. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think that it's me speaking from my perspective is like at the end of the day, as you know, we're walking through this storm that we're going through, right? We still have a roof over our head. We still have food in our belly, right? Mm-hmm. We're, we are, but we're not persecuted as much. Um, like, we're persecuted in some ways, but we're not persecuted in the ways that people of our faith were back in that time frame. Does that make sense? This is true. Like, in the time of, of Jesus. And, I mean, just with Easter coming up and, and what Easter means for, for Christians, it's like, what we were talking about earlier, like we'll never, what I was saying earlier, we'll never fully understand the gift of of Jesus until we're in heaven, you know, standing there before Him on Judgment Day, like mm -hmm. 
will never understand the full capacity of his love for us and um, just everything that that entails, right? Yeah, and I think it's easy for us, like especially in society, like it's easy for us to lose sight of that we are, like even just waking up is a, another blessing. Yeah. Right? I think Smore said it perfectly. Always remember to praise God for the small things in the midst of the storm. Exactly. Waking like, up, roof over your bed, oh, roof over your head. We had diesel in the truck to go to church. Yeah. We actually, you know, sat in our seat and we were able to have some conversations with the people around us. Getting to learn, getting to build community. A lot of blessings. We have AC. That's a blessing. That is a blessing. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> AC is a blessing. Um, but even just like, I think internet is one thing that, especially in today's society, right? We, we take it for granted and we, um, think that it may be, you know, a lot of negatives, um, involved in internet usage and social media and stuff like that. Right. Mm -hmm. But it's like, without that, the crooks community wouldn't be a thing. Right. Mm -hmm. You launching R4J wouldn't be a thing without internet, mm -hmm. right? And so it's like, yes, there's all these negative things in 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 the world, and but it's about really focusing on and working towards creating more positive than negative, right? Um, I think it depends on what kind of. Like we could say like glasses, like, do you have your negative glasses on today? Because like, yeah. if you're, if you're looking for problems, you're going to find problems. Absolutely. But if you're looking for pot, like positives, if you're looking for like good stories, if you're looking for that type of stuff, then you'll find it. So it's like, you really got to kind of wake up every day. You know, you should say a prayer, thank God for the day ahead. And then just ask him to help focus your heart, your, you know, your heart and your eyes towards all the beauty in this world. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love that for you. I think. 